Due to its lightweight and growing demand for applications such as batteries for electric vehicles and renewable energy storage systems, lithium, the lightest metallic element in the periodic table, is receiving increased attention lately. Africa boasts of substantial deposits of lithium, which makes it a significant player in the worldwide lithium industry. With the recent rise in lithium prices, African countries now have new opportunities to benefit from their lithium resources. As the need for clean energy solutions continues to expand, lithium has become more valuable. Although African nations have the potential to capitalize on this lucrative market, the process of transforming lithium from a raw material to a valuable product is still largely conducted outside the continent. While the world's production of lithium is currently dominated by Australia, Chile, and China, with 45 million, 19 million, and 11 million tons extracted in 2019 respectively, Africa is poised to soon become a major player in lithium mining. Although the exploratory phases are just starting, the prospects for mining companies in the continent are highly encouraging. In today's video, we will be showcasing the top 5 African nations that have the potential to become major suppliers of the valuable red metal to the rest of the world. Before we continue, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more informative and exciting future videos. The Iwoya Lithium Project, which is being developed by Atlantic Lithium, is poised to make history as the first lithium-producing mine in Ghana, West Africa. This project is specifically focused on tapping into the rich lithium deposits located at the Iwoya, Abanko, and Kompakram Spadumine pegmatite sites in western Ghana. With the aim of producing high-quality lithium concentrate, Atlantic Lithium is working towards the launch of its first production in the third quarter of 2024. The company has already completed a pre-feasibility study for the project in September 2022, which provided detailed insights into the proposed mining operation. The study indicated that the mine would have a production capacity of 2 million tons per annum of spodumene over a 12.5-year mine life. Reports from last year indicated that the Iwoya Lithium project was estimated to contain 18.9 million tons of probable ore, with a grade of 1.24% lithium oxide. This translates to a total of 109 kilotons of lithium metal. The initial capital investment for the project is estimated to be $125 million, which would help fund the development of the infrastructure and facilities needed for the mining operation. Buguni is a proposed mining project that aims to extract lithium from an open pit mine, located near the town of Buguni in southern Mali. The mine will primarily focus on producing hard rock lithium, which is a type of lithium that is extracted from rocks, rather than from brine pools. The project is being developed by Kodal Minerals, a UK-based company that specializes in the exploration and development of lithium resources. The Bugatti mine is expected to have a resource base of 16 million tons of lithium-rich rocks. A feasibility study has been conducted to predict the potential production capacity of the mine, and it is estimated that the mine will produce 220,000 tons of 6% grade spodumene concentrates per year. The concentrates will contain 71% recoverable lithium, which can be further processed to extract lithium carbonate, a key component in the production of lithium-ion batteries. The Bugudi Lithium Project encompasses two mining concessions, Kalasakoro and Medina, covering a combined area of approximately 500 square kilometers in the Bugudi region of Mali, which is 180 kilometers south of the capital city of Bamako. Kodal Minerals also owns an exploration license for the 200 square kilometer Bugudi West Project, located near Mali Lithium's Gulamina Lithium Project just 25 kilometers west of the existing Bugami project. Further, Kodal Minerals holds the Dandio Lithium Prospect, a 109 square kilometer area located 280 kilometers south of Bamako, with a total land area of over 800 square kilometers in southern Mali. Kodal Minerals is the largest lithium developer in West Africa.
The Democratic Republic of the Congo is in the early stages of developing its lithium supply chain, but it is one of the most advanced projects in Africa. The country is home to one of the largest lithium pegmatites in Africa and is poised to play a significant role in the global lithium market. The Manano Kitatola mine is a historic mining site that was established in 1910 and was exploited for tin until 1982. Today, the mine project is a joint venture between three companies, AVZ Minerals Limited, which holds a 60% stake in the project, La Congolese Exploitation Minier SA with 25% ownership, and the Omer Mining Resources SARL with 15%. The Manano deposit, located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, is believed to be one of the largest reserves of lithium in the world. According to estimates, the deposit contains approximately 30 million tons of spodumene, a mineral that contains 6% lithium oxide. The mine consists of Kitatolo in the southwest and Manano Kahamwe in the northeast, which together makes up two primary zones that span a 15 kilometers by 800 meters region. Namibia has the potential to play a significant role in the global lithium market, but currently does not participate in the battery supply chain. The country has exported lithium in the past and has two significant lithium projects underway. In 2019, lithium production was 52,741 metric tons. The Caribib mine is Namibia's most advanced lithium project and is owned by Lapidico, a global lithium firm. The project is focused on lapidolite concentrate and is refined using Lapidico's patented technology. In 2018, Namibia made its first export of lapidolite concentrate from the Caribib mine. In addition to the Caribib mine, the U.S. Tin Mine is also located in Namibia and is owned by Afritin Mining. The mine is known for its deposits of mineralized pegmatites that serve as tin resources, but it also has plans to extract lithium from petalite deposits. While the U.S. Tin Mine is primarily focused on tin, its plans for lithium demonstrate the country's potential to become a major player in the global lithium market. Zimbabwe is home to the Bakita mine, which is the largest lithium-rich field in Africa and the only actively working lithium mine on the continent. The Bakita pegmatite has a long history of mining, starting with tin in 1910 and then petalite for lithium mining in the 1940s. The standard method of extracting lithium ore at the mine is through hard rock extraction. Bakita Minerals, the operator of the mine, produces a graded petalite concentrate which is used primarily for glass and ceramics production. Despite the presence of the mine, Zimbabwe has limited involvement in the battery supply chain. The country produced 1,600 tons of lithium in both 2018 and 2019. While the Bakita mine has spodumene pegmatites that can be used for battery production, Zimbabwe currently does not contribute to the battery production supply chain. This may have an impact on the country's future battery supply chain prospects. What do you make of our video today? Tell us what you think about the prospects of Africa supplying lithium for the world market. Leave your comments below and let us know what you think. And as always, subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.